Hello, I'm Ohm Meter, President of Pure and Secure in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I want to show you today how a distiller operates. A distiller is a very uh, simple device, and I'm going to show you how. And uh, they're available on the market as an appliance. So unlike a filter uh, or a membrane, these are appliances. But here is a demonstration distiller. And we're going to, I'm going to show you the parts and then we're going to show you how it operates and you can see the results. A distiller requires a, a source of water to be purified and that's going to go in here. So we're going to take tap water and put it into here. It requires a heat source and that's what we have here, a hot plate. When that water boils, the steam will rise, it will, some of it will accumulate on the outside but most of it will carry through here to the condenser. This is equivalent to the cloud in, the, in nature's uh, process. Here we'll blow cold air through it, cool it down, so we've separated the liquid and the contaminants, turned them into vapor, cooled the vapor down and converted it back into water. We don't want to put the water back in here because that's contaminated. We want to collect the water here where it will be pure, distilled water. So now we're going to show you how it actually operates. Here we are at, in the kitchen at Pure and Secure. We have a distilled water faucet and we have a tap water faucet. So what I'm going to do is fill this, we'll put some tap water in here. Don't want to fix too much, but. Okay, I've got about 600 milliliters of tap water and we're going to measure the TDS with the TDS meter and I will see if I can get this measured in here. I don't know if you can see this on camera. This is around 300, 302, 304. Um, that's the total dissolved solids of that tap water. And we're going to use, put this in the demo distiller I just showed you. And so that you can see what's really going on, I'm going to add some red food color. So I'll, you're going to know this is contaminated because There's some drops of red food coloring, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, it's contaminated water. So now let's go back and we'll put it into the demo distiller. And we'll start it up and you can see how the process works. Okay, now I've taken the water we got from the kitchen sink. We measured it around 300 parts per million of total dissolved solids. And in addition, we added red food coloring so you can really see that it's contaminated. So now I'm going to turn the hot plate on. And when the hot plate comes on, we have a fan in here. Uh, the hot plate will boil the water and uh, we'll come back in a little bit and we'll see that it's boiling and it's producing steam. So I'll turn the unit on. And this makes a lot more noise than a regular distiller. So the hot plate's on, we're going to come back here in a few minutes and we'll take a look at the water boiling. Okay, we're back again. Um, it's a few minutes later and by this time you can see that the, the water in the flask or the boiling tank as we call it in the, uh, in the distiller is boiling. And you can see it's nice and red, very bubbly. What you can't see is there is steam rising from that water. Although well, you can see drops of condensate against the top of the flask. But most of the, the vapor is coming through this tube into the condenser. We call this the condenser, which is equivalent to the cloud when you look at the nature's process. We're cooling the vapor down and it's coming out into this glass. One of the things you'll notice, it's pretty obvious I think, is that this 
has the red food coloring in it and the distilled water doesn't. But it's not just the red food coloring, all the contaminants have stayed behind there. If there were bacteria and viruses in there, they'd still be in there. They would be dead. The, uh, the total dissolved solids, I would expect, will be higher now because there's less water. But all the contaminants are there and the pure water is over here. So we're going to let this cool a little bit and uh, then we'll take a TDS reading and uh, you can see for yourself how this, uh, this process works. Okay, it's a little bit, a little while later and uh, we're going to now take a look at the results of what we've done with the distiller. First of all, I just want to, to remind you that the tap water that we put into the distiller in the boiling tank was 300 to 305 parts per million. So let's take a look at the distilled water. This is the distilled water here. It's still a little warm, but I'll turn this on. Let me see. Can you read that? It's uh, zero, zero, zero. That's what you would expect from a distiller. And if not zero, 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 maybe zero, zero, one. But nevertheless, uh, even if it was zero, zero, it was one part per million, that would be less, uh, that would be 99 point, uh, I don't know, seven percent. Maybe, maybe higher percent purity. But this here is zero, so I'll write that down. Zero parts per million. Now, let's take a look at this. And I, it's still a little warm, so I am going to use a towel here. And uh, take this out. Remember, there were no filters in here at all. This is just purely a process the result of heat. Now, I think what I'll do is I'm going to pour, so we can see this easily, I'm going to pour this water into this glass and then we'll measure it because it's hard for me to get the meter in there to measure it. So here is the back on there, and we'll measure this. TDS meter is turned on, and I'll tilt this up a little bit. It's still this water is still fairly warm, and what's the reading? Six hundred and twenty-one. 621. If you want to read it here, it can vary a little bit, but it's 621. So, what have we done? We'll put this up in here. Six, say 620 parts per million. Okay, so we started with tap water at 300 parts per million. We ended up with distilled water at zero parts per million. Now, as you distilled water over, the water in that flask became more concentrated and the contaminant stayed behind and as you would expect, the reading in there actually went up. So this started 300, produced zero parts per million water and resulted in 620 parts per million in there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why distillation is so effective. It is why I'm so convinced, having used all the other methods of water treatment, I come back every time to distillation. It's, a, it's nature's process. Thank you.